Hello and welcome back. My name is Gregory Vasquez. I'm the head of customer service at Anastasia Date. We've put together a series of videos to help you guys with international online dating and get a little bit familiar with some of the tips you might want to know to have some better success. As you might know, Anastasia Date can help you find girls from throughout all over Europe. And today I want to focus on one of those countries for you. That is Croatia. Croatia is located in the southern eastern part of Europe, bordering the Adriatic Sea between Slovenia and Bosnia. Croatia's population is nearly 5 million. Croatians' ethnic makeup consists mostly of Croats and Serbs. Their primary religious groups are Catholics, along with some Orthodox, Christian, and Muslims. Croatians are often referred to as Croats, and they refer to their country as the beautiful homeland, which is also their national anthem. Folklore plays an important part in everyday culture. As a matter of fact, life experiences are often heard in music, songs, dances, rituals, melodies, and even in the cinema. But check this out. These are some of the girls on Anastasia's website from Croatia. So how well is your work-life balance? For Croatians, this is very important. As a matter of fact, weekends are considered family time. So when you come home Monday through Friday, you're expected to kind of spend some time with the family. So that means it's not going to be a good thing if you're bringing home work all the time or sitting around doing nothing on the weekend. If you've ever traveled to Croatia, foreigners will tell you that Croatian women are very beautiful and have a bit of a model-like appearance. So are you thinking about coming to Croatia and possibly meeting your Croatian girlfriend? Well, think about this. Don't bring chrysanthemums to that first time you meet her. As a matter of fact, those are considered flowers that you put down at funerals and at graveyards. Think about maybe some roses or anything else that's a little bit more romantic and keep in mind the quantity. Go with 11 or maybe 13, but not 12, because 12 is an even number. And again, that's associated with funerals and not very good. But you don't have to bring flowers. You can bring her a gift even from the U.S. That might be very interesting, uh, unless you don't have time to go over there and maybe you want to send her a gift, which through Anastasia Date's website, you can even check out our variety of products that we have, and we'll even guarantee the delivery for you. So maybe a teddy bear, maybe some chocolates. Think about it. All right, so you want to score some points and you want to have a real advantage over girls in Croatia? Think about making the first move. Unlike other countries where things might be a little bit more open-minded for everyone, Croatians will be a little bit more reserved. So they're not going to make direct eye contact with you and are going to expect you to make the first move because you're the man. So think about this. Introduce yourself. Think about what you might want to strike up a conversation and maybe even think about telling her to See if she can show you around her city. If you're lucky enough to get a Croatian girl to look you in the eye and give you a big smile, that's to your advantage because you already have the insight to know that she's waiting for you to make the next move. So why don't you check out Anastasia Date's website and see if maybe she's waiting there for you. And keep in mind, I'm going to have some more videos on a variety of other European countries. And if you come back, who knows, you may find that if it's not Croatia, it's Serbia, Romania, or somewhere else where she's waiting for you.